Good afternoon, everybody. Oh, this is an exciting day for the college. I want more enthusiasm. We are gonna, we're going to win the Patriot League. Let's do this, folks. Welcome. Good afternoon. That's more like it. That's the family I know and love. Uh, welcome, everybody. I am Nicole Hurd. I am honored to be the 18th president of this amazing college. Uh, welcome to Easton on a day where I am so excited the sun is coming out uh, because we've got big news because somebody's coming home to Easton. So welcome, welcome, coach. Uh, I will say this. Uh, this is an exciting day for all of us. Uh, I have now been here for 10 months, and I believe with my whole heart that Lafayette is a place in the world that wants to say or all the time, uh, we say and, uh, and the power of that and, and the power of our student athletes to show everybody what academic excellence and what academic prowess on the court looks like. And I'm looking at our amazing student athletes in the back right now. We believe in you, uh, and we now are going to start a new chapter together. I want to say a couple things real quickly, and then I'm going to hand it off to my incredible partner, Sharita Freeman. Uh, in this world where we say and, I want everybody to know this is a place where we are home. And in this moment where we are in renewal and we are starting a new chapter, I want to say this. I want us to all come home and support this team. Uh, I want to see people in the stands. I know Coach has a lot of Philly connections. I want to see all those people coming up from Philly um, and coming home to support all the great things that are going to happen on this campus. So I'm very proud of what we're doing on this campus. Uh, I said this back in December when we, when we welcomed Coach Troxel home. Uh, we have the number one graduation success rate in the country. We should say it loud and proud all the time. And when I came here, the promise was to create a championship culture under our leader uh, that allows our student athletes to thrive, our staff and our coaches to thrive, and this community to thrive. Um, I'm excited today that we found our next leader that will help us do that. So I will end by saying this. I've also been here 10 months, and I think one of the most important decisions I've made is to have our athletic director be my partner every day. Uh, again, since the last time we saw each other, she's been named one of the 100 most influential women uh, of color in athletics. She is also somebody who I see every single day, and I know that we're in good hands. So I am happy to introduce my partner, our athletic director, Sharita Freeman. Thank you, President Hurd. And um, if you couldn't tell, um, she's got a fire and a competitiveness and some juice about her that I absolutely love, and that's why I love this place. So thank you, President Hurd. And good afternoon, everyone. I appreciate all, you all being here today, and I appreciate everyone who's tuning in to the broadcast. It's always a great day to be a leopard, but today is special as we get to welcome the newest members of our Lafayette family. Head coach, Mike Jordan, his wife, Katie, and daughters, Eva, Bella, and Jayla. Welcome to Lafayette. I would first like to thank a few individuals who helped us get to this point today. Deputy AD Katie McKittrick and Associate AD Mike Chamberlain who were part of the search team. I'd also like to thank all the members of the Lafayette faculty and staff who spent time with each of our candidates as well as the members of our men's basketball team as well as our men's basketball alumni. Thank you so much and I appreciate all of you for engaging in the process and for dedicating your time um, to, to engage in the process as well. For me, hiring a coach is not about checking boxes. It's about identifying someone that will embrace our family, care about this place as if it were his own, while working hard every day to achieve our goals, creating a championship culture, and creating positive student-athlete experiences for our student-athletes. Mike is a Philadelphia native, a city that has produced so many great basketball players and coaches. He earned two Ivy League championships at the University of Pennsylvania, played internationally in nine different countries, and was part of three conference titles in the last four seasons at Colgate and Drexel. He has won at every stop of his career. I am excited to have him bring a little, or a lot, 
of that magic that seems to follow him everywhere he goes. No pressure, Mike. We are excited about his intimate working knowledge of the recruiting landscape in the Patriot League and of the pieces that it takes to win consistently in such a competitive league. You will come to know him as MJ, not to be confused with the other MJ, but he's MJ as well, or the guy with the Lafayette snapback hat, but you will also soon come to know him as someone who's authentic to his true self, a Philly guy with passion and energy, and one in which the sport of, of basketball has changed his life. A statement truly reflective of this incredible moment as he soon takes the stage as our next head men's basketball coach. Mike, I know family means a lot to you. Today, we officially welcome you home to the Leopard family and as Lafayette's 19th men's basketball coach. Congratulations and welcome Coach Jordan. Thank you, uh, Sharita, for those kind words. Um, thank you all for coming. You know, I appreciate it again. And um, I just wanted to thank uh, President Hurt and Sharita, you know, their, their staff, and everybody involved in selecting me as the next head coach at Lafayette. Um, I'm excited to be here, um, to be a part of this family. This is something that I've dreamed about doing you know, since I got into business. Um, I wanna say thank you to Coach Dumphy, who recruited me to the University of Pennsylvania. He took a shot on a, on a kid from, uh, from the Germantown section of Philadelphia and gave me an opportunity to embark on a special journey. Because of Coach, I was able to meet the next guy I wanna thank. Matt Langle, who I consider, he's a brother to me, a mentor, um, somebody that I, I truly respect in this business. So I, I want to thank those, those guys especially. And then I want to thank Coach O. Um, Coach O is somebody who I respect in this, in this game, uh, not just for what he did for Lafayette, but what he did for the game of basketball itself. And, and I called Coach O last night uh, after I, I talked to the team and after it was announced that I would be the next head coach. And I told him how much he meant to me uh, as, a, as a player and as a coach. And he was somebody that I looked up to and I admired. And he's done a fantastic job here at Lafayette. And he's done a fantastic job you know, for the game of basketball. So thank you, Coach O. I'd like to thank I'd like to recognize and, and thank my family. Uh, my wife, Katie, she's been putting up with me for 15 years of marriage and what's that 17 years of us being together. Uh, she's a rock star. She's my rock. Uh, I would like to thank you know, my, my girls. I moved them around a lot the last couple of years but they're, they're troopers, so you know, I, I really appreciate them sticking, sticking with me and through all this. It's not easy. It's not easy being a coach's kid, uh, but they do a fantastic job. Uh, I want to thank my in-laws, uh, Kathy, Bruce, uh, for allowing me to, to be a part of their family and to marry their daughter, uh, even though Bruce was, was ready and willing to, to get, get, you know, get, her, get, her, get her off his hands. <laughs> You know, he, he was happy when I came in and asked. He, he's like, you didn't even have to ask, you just take her. But, uh, you know, I, I appreciate them. Thank you, thank you. And then, you know, my, my extended family, which 
is a lot of people. Um, again, I'll be up here all day if I, if I go into it, but the Langles, uh, you know, John and Jackie have been my parents since my freshman year in high school. Uh, sorry, freshman year at Penn. Um, and Casey has been like a brother to me as well. Um, and now my Lafayette family, you know, I, I got a new family. Can't get away from the colors, but you know, I, I, got, a, I got a new family down here at Lafayette and, and I'm, I'm excited to be a part of this family. And, and I'm looking forward to, to getting to know everybody, you know, more, on a more personal level. And you know, this, this, this does feel like home. You know, I, I grew up not, not too far from here, about an hour and some change. Um, so again, this is, this is like, you know, a homecoming for me of sorts. Lafayette is, has a storied history, um, a, a very storied history uh, of excellence in, in basketball. And I hope to continue that, you know, from the championship, championship seasons uh, of the past, you know, I, I wanna, I wanna do though, I wanna do, I wanna continue to, to uplift the program and do those things. You know, you, you got some, 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 some history with you and, and it's, it's pretty good. You know, from defeating, you know, Virginia Tech, I mean, sorry, Virginia and the NIT at, at Madison Square. Um, that, that's a big win back in 92, uh, 72, sorry, 72. Uh, Jay, did you hit those free throws? Okay, all right, all right. Hey, one was enough. One was enough to get it done, you know, from defeating Notre, Notre Dame, you know, right here on campus in 1988. Uh, the three NCAA appearances, you know, during Fran's tenure, Coach O's tenure. Um, and, and again, the other coaching legends that, that have been here, you know, in addition to, to Coach O, uh, Butch Van, Van Bredekoff, uh, Roy Chipman, Tom Davis, and, you know, Gary Williams as an assistant. And uh, I, I didn't, we played against Gary Williams when I was at Penn, and, and they beat us pretty good down there uh, at, at Maryland. And then he decided that he wouldn't return the game uh, to us until Matt and I graduated because uh, we wanted some revenge and he wouldn't give us that opportunity. But as soon as we graduated, he decided to, to play against Penn. So I, I owe Gary, Gary a call. Um, yesterday I was, I was here and I, I met with the guys. We had a team meeting and we, we talked about how excited I was to join them on their championship journey. Um, and again, this, this isn't about me, this, this is about them you know this is their program this is the program of the guys that donned the jersey before them um, so I'm just the steward of this program and, and again this is about them and this is their program we talked about the things that it takes to become a champion in that meeting and again as Sharita said earlier uh, I know a little bit about that. I've, I've been fortunate enough to win, again, like she said, at every level. And we talked about the commitment that it takes to do that and the hard work that you have to put in in order to achieve those goals. The guys, I thought, were very receptive of that. And I think it's something that they want. And I hope that, I don't hope, I think we're gonna, we're gonna get it done. You know, we, we got enough, enough in that room and enough that the resources are in place for us to do those things. And we're going to continue, you know, on that championship journey. But along that journey, we're going to need the support of the alumni, you know, the faculty, of the, of the, the community, near and far, to get this done. Uh, these guys, they deserve, you know, your support and, and your help along this way because we are in this together. As we talked about earlier, we're, we're just one family and we're all on this championship journey together. So we talked about the championship journey. And I'm going to tell you uh, just a, a little bit about my journey, my story, for those of you who don't know me. Uh, I come from the inner city of Philadelphia, the Germantown area of the city. I was, I'm the oldest of seven, a uh, single parent home. And, you know, uh, the typical, I'm a young black man growing up in, the, in, a, in a tough environment. Um, long story short, I ended up being an Ivy League graduate 
and being able to, you know, coach championships and I played professionally for years. I got to see the world because of basketball. The things that I had to overcome were, are, were tough, you know, tough for, for, for a kid. And I think it's tough for any kid, but I was able to, to overcome those things and those obstacles because of integrity, hard work, preparation, and the willingness to compete every day for everything that I wanted. So those qualities and those pillars will be the foundation of how we'll develop our championship team here at Lafayette and how I, I intend to coach the players here as well and how the players will go about their responsibilities every day um, as students, as players, and as citizens of this community. Because as, as their coach, it, it is my job to help them to reach their potential to be champions in all of those areas, in the court, on the court, in the classroom, and in the community. And if we can do those things, then again, at the end of the road, I think we're going to be champions. And again, I'm very, very thankful, excited, and hopeful to be a part of this family. And I thank you for allowing me to be a part of your championship journey, our championship journey. And we're going to do this thing together. Thank you. For those at home, uh, we'll be taking some questions. If you uh, want to ask a question, raise your hand. We'll bring you a microphone. Uh, anyone? Coach Gary Labach of the Lafayette Sports Network. First of all, congratulations and welcome to Lafayette. Thank you, Gary. I appreciate it. You mentioned Dumpf and O'Hanlon and Donahue and Langle and, you know, all great X and O guys but I'm sure you learned a lot more than X's and O's from those guys. And it looks like you'll be a perfect fit here at Lafayette where academics are so important as they are in all of those other, other institutions. Can you talk a little bit about some of the things you learned, not about basketball so much, but about making these young men even better? Yeah, I learned from, from Coach Dunphy and, you know, from Coach Matt, Coach Langle. Um, again, we, we came up under Dunph, and Dunph always stressed not only to be a good basketball player, but a good person. And, you know, Coach Lang always talks about doing the right thing. Um, and those things sit with you. Um, those things really, really resonate inside of you. And that's all you can ask for, is to do the right thing and be a good person. And again, it's, it's, it's larger than basketball. It's more than basketball. Um, people will remember, you know, how you treat them. And so treat everybody the way you want to be treated. And Dumpf is probably the best human being I know. Um, he's, he's awesome. He's an awesome person. And he remembers everybody's names. And he'll have a conversation with a stranger. Because again, you never know what that conversation with a stranger can do you know, for, for that person. It, may, it, it costs you nothing to be nice, is basically the things that I've learned you know, from, from them and, and, and my experiences. It's about. Sorry, it's about relationships and building those relationships. Like Mr. Robinson, who's who works events here, he's he's my guy. You, you know what I mean? I came, I drove up when we played here not too long ago, and and Mr. Robinson was awesome. You know, I'm trying to find him now because uh, he he was just nice to me, and his kindness, you know, resonates with me, you know, to this day. So, uh, Mike and John Leon. Gary lets me sit next to him on the sideline. <laughs> I don't know if I see Dumpf here, but you mentioned Matt and you mentioned Coach O. Yep. So I don't expect, I don't know how much of the X's and O's that will be that different that we'll see. Uh, what, are, what do you think uh, will be the best way you can put your fingerprints, your handprint on the program in terms of how, how we'll watch the team play? Yeah. Uh I think the X's and O's are, 
you know, they, they are what they are. Um, and, and again, we've all learned and collaborated with, with each other. So it'll be very similar, I, I believe, as far as the offense goes. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're not a, we don't joystick the offense, as, as us coaches like to say. We're a read and react. Um, I think that's the best way to teach the game. That's the best way to learn how to play um, instead of like a system per se. So we're going to have fun. We're going to get up and down. Uh, we're going to play. And if you've met Coach O and Coach Dunf and Coach Matt, they're a little reserved. So I'm going to put my thumbprint will be a little bit different. You know, I'm, I'm a high, higher energy guy. You know, I'm not as reserved as those guys. So we're, we're going to get after it a little bit. Yep. Real attractive jobs that are real attractive. There are other jobs uh, that are more challenging. Mm -hmm. Can you explain to us a little bit about what you thought was most attractive to you about this job, and some of the challenges that you see that you may not have encountered at some of your other stops? Have you been to Hamilton, New York? <laughs> you know, I, I, I brought the cold down with me. But, you know, um, again, uh, I've been to, to Colgate and coached at Drexel um, and two different, two different spots, I think. Um, you try not to, to harp on the, the challenges. There's challenges everywhere, everywhere you go. Um, it's not about what you don't have. It's what you have in place that you can build upon. And, and I think here, Again, all what we need to win, we have. All the resources are set in place for us to do amazing things here at Lafayette. And that's what attracted me to Lafayette. You know, I, I did some research on President Hurd. Uh, she's awesome, by the way. If you, if you guys, if anyone here hasn't, you know, looked her up, you should do so because uh, she's, she's awesome. And Sharita is fantastic. You know, she's, she's a rock star. And again, those are things that attracted me here. They, they, want, they want a championship team. And, and my, I'm hoping I can help them, help them get that and, and achieve that. Anybody else? We don't want to let them off the hook that easily. If not, I have a quick question for you. All right. You played in nine different countries. Can you tell us kind of what you took from those experiences and uh, you know, what, what you use it for every day? Yeah. Um, uh, during the interview process, uh, they had asked me, you know, what, what separates you from the other candidates? And my answer to them was, I, through my experiences, I, I'm comfortable everywhere. Uh, you can put me anywhere, and I'm comfortable. I'll be comfortable, I'll make it work, and the people around me will feel comfortable that I'm there. Um, so that's the thing I think that, that I took most from all the places in Europe is, and my, my teammates joked about me being the most European American that they ever played with <laughs> because I was able to adjust and, and, and just you know, fit right in with, with the culture and things like that. So that's, that's the one thing I would take from, from Europe is uh, being open-minded, more open-minded, um, and, and being able to adapt to a lot of different experiences and situations. Okay. Anybody else? Hi, Mike. Corky Blake from Lehigh Valley Live. Gary and I were talking. We think we're the only ones that were at Coach O's opening press conference in years. <laughs> Showing you how old we are. But um, what's going to be the biggest jump from being the guy sitting next to Matt to being the guy that gets to stand up and orchestrate everything during the game? It's a good question. Um, I think the thing that changes the most is that I don't have to, to go to Matt to ask him if we can do something. I can just do it myself. Uh, as far as standing up and, and, and doing things, Matt, Matt gave us a lot of ownership of the program. Um, and, and I intend to do the same with, with the staff here once we, once we get that you know, ironed out. Um, and, and again, I, I, I did a lot of standing. If, if you watched our games, I, I do a lot of standing. I do a lot of standing up, and, and Matt allows me to do that. So I, I don't think that that'll change too much. 
the, the, the only difference is now I, I don't have to ask Matt if we can run this play or run that play. I can kind of say, hey, we're going to run this play, which is, which is going to be kind of cool. Coach, can you get a sense that there's a good nucleus coming back uh, for next season? And I assume you're going to get on the road and probably have to find one or two new recruits. Uh, Kyle Squires, I assume, is going to come and play. Yeah, I haven't spoken to Kyle yet. I, I plan on doing that tonight to see if he if he still you know is is going to attend 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 Lafayette. Um, but I, I think the nucleus is there. Um, they got a good nucleus. Um, obviously, you know, a couple guys are in the portal that we like them to stay. If we if we can get them to stay, I, I think that helps us a lot. Um, no pressure, big fella. But uh, <laughs> you know, I think I think it's, the talent is there. Um, obviously, we have to add some pieces. Um, we have a few spots uh, available, and we have to evaluate and make sure that we get the right fit for you know our program and, and for for Lafayette. Um, so yeah, we got to get on the road. We got we got to hit the hit the hit the ground running um, to try to get you know a couple more pieces and and see. And again, we have to have meetings, uh, you know, individual meetings with the rest of the guys to see what their plans are as well. Coach, uh, Otis Ellis, class of 89, uh, 85, 89, yeah. Um, <laughs> I am getting old. Uh, tell us a little bit about um, how you envision uh, putting together your staff um, and how quickly do you think that will be accomplished? I am... Um as far as staff goes, again, I, I, I want to hire people that I trust and people that also can complement me as well as fit the, you know, the values of, of Lafayette. You know, it has to be a, a good fit. I want to hire guys that know the game or people that know the game, people that understand the game, and people that know how to teach the game. So, you know, those, those are things that, that, I, that I want with our staff. Um, and I think if you have those things, and, and, and I want to hire winners, you know, because they know what it's like to, to, to win, and they know what it takes to win. And winning is hard. Winning is really hard. If, if that, does that suffice? Or, all right. They're going to be good, good, trust me. I'm putting together a dream team for you, Otis. So you make sure you and everybody else come back and pack the stands because uh, we're going to have some fun. It's, it's going to be fun, and, and we're ready to, ready to get to work. Coach, Mike Joseph with uh, LSN. Uh, what can you tell us about that Colgate team last year that won 18 in a row and played so well early on in the tournament? What kind of things did you see from that team that you may want to bring here? I mean, because... We, we saw them up close in front for the last couple of years and they looked much different for our team, but they almost knew how to win. So what, what kind of things can you bring from, say, the traits that they had? Well, you know, uh, try to mimic some of the things that, that we've done. But again, this is, this is Lafayette. So we have to figure out what works for Lafayette. Uh, things that work for, you know, Colgate may not necessarily work for Lafayette. Um, so we have to figure it out, you know, with our group, what, what are we going to do? Um, obviously, again, what we did up there was, was special. Um, but again, we, we develop talent. And that's what we're going to do here. We're going to develop the talent that we have. And we're going to play hard. We're going to play smart. We're going to play together. And those are the things that we did up north as well, is we play hard, we play smart, and we play together. And if you, you do those things and you put in the work, you'll, you know, the benefits will come. Anybody else? Okay, if not, I'd like to thank everyone for attending today. We will have time for one-on-ones with Coach, and uh, thank everyone for watching on online. Thank you.